Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing, everyone? Exciting things happening today as we do something we haven't done here on YouTube before. We're planting another season in the middle of one that is currently trucking along. So, get in here and we'll see if this season looks a little better with the changes we've made. At this point, you know we're trying to make this our full-time jobs, but YouTube is, well, YouTube when it comes to cannabis. Despite this, we continue to find ourselves surrounded by nothing but love and support from this community. If you did want to support the channel a little more, the best way to do that is through our Patreon. With a private Discord, additional in-depth videos, Patreon-exclusive merch and live streams, or even the chance to smoke face-to-face -face with the buds, every tier gets something. The amount of support we've already received has been absolutely mind-blowing, but we wanted to take some time out to show our appreciation for our newest patrons. So, a big shout out and an official thank you to All right, let's get back to it. All right, guys, so I hope this isn't too repetitive at this point as we just did a germination video, but we have another one. Sure, we won't go into as much detail, but a lot of the same information will be in here. We'll keep it short though and take a peek at our current season as well. For those new to the channel, we're growing a Lucky Charms and a Caramel Frappe by THC Tone Genetics. Things aren't looking so good, but we know why. For one, the lights were too bright when we started. As we've explained, the grow room was recently shut down, meaning that everything was taken down, removed, and packed away. This meant we had to start from square one when it came to adjusting our environment. Sure, Mars Hydro is keeping the tents cool enough with their new inline fan, but there's a little more to it than all that. If you get your humidity figured out, then there's just one thing left to do, and this can either make or break a season, and that's the lights. There's a whole bunch of ways that the lights can affect your grow from how high or low you hang them, what you dial the intensity up to, or even down to for that matter, and how much heat they're putting off. Basically, you want temps, humidity, and light exposure balanced. If you haven't watched our Apogee PAR video explaining how we set the lights intensity, go watch that to see the process. We'll link it in the description below. Long story short, our lights were dialed up a touch too high. We got that figured out after a little bit, but it still seemed like the plants were struggling. And that's when it struck us. The newts were too hot in the pot. In a previous season, we had our earth dust at a rate of four tablespoons per gallon of medium and had fantastic results. However, this experiment to see if the plants could take a little more at five tablespoons per gallon of medium definitely failed. So. Two weeks ago, we made some new living soil back at the four tablespoons per gallon of medium ratio and oh my God, you guys, you gotta see this. White fuzz is everywhere. Our soil is alive. What this really is, is mycelium. Beneficial fungi that will bond to roots to feed our plants additional water and nutrients its normal root zone couldn't reach and wouldn't have access to. As a result, the plant feeds the fungi what it needs by leaching a substance known as exudates out through its roots. This is homeostasis at its finest, perfect balance. Sure, you may think that by making the plant manufacture something else would take away from its main priorities, but that's just not the case. In fact, it's been proven that plants grow bigger and stronger all while defending better against pests and disease with mycelium colonized in their root zone. The fungi needs the plant to survive. 
the plant does better with the fungi growing on its roots. The fungi feeds the plants what it can reach, and the plant rewards the fungi by feeding them exudates. It's a perfect relationship that benefits both. And this is one of the many things that is making growing with organics so cool. We're learning about how things are in the soil, in nature, and how they so much naturally interacts with other things in symbiosis. All that said, it's clear to say that this soil is alive and ready. So let's get to it. Three gallon pots, fill them, make way for the seed, plant. We usually go about a half an inch, but have been getting helmet heads lately. I am super fly, suggested we plant a little deeper, allowing the dirt more surface area to drag the seed off the plant by friction. Full disclosure, we've tried this at three quarter an inch and had some other issues, like the plant not being able to find the light. Superfly then said, well, how about just a little bit then? <laughs> light bulb. So we split the difference, five eighths of an inch down. That's halfway between half an inch and three quarter in on the ruler. 60 milliliters of water on top, mist the dome in the top of your soil, Put it on your Mars Hydro heat mat, set it, and forget it. Lights are set to 18.6, and all we have to do now is wait. As for the current season, well, we just fed them last week. So they're set for the next week or two. Just water for now. Sure, they might be little, and the caramel frappe got stunted into oblivion from the newts, but we're having fun. Just watching what happens and taking care of our girls the best we can. The new ones will look great, and we can't wait to show them off. We got our Star Wars grow off kicking off in four days, so don't forget that. Entries are stacking up and so are the prizes. We've got great prizes from the Green Sunshine Company, Mars Hydro, even some stuff we're throwing in there, so <laughs> beginner buds. And that's not all. King Palm just became the official sponsor of the grow off with a huge prize they sent. We'll talk a little bit more about that next week, but if you want to get in on it, this is probably one of your last chances. Go check it out on Instagram. We'll be back on Friday for our weekly positivity live streams at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on YouTube. And until then, keep learning, keep growing. Catch, Catch you later, later guys. guys.